Hey there everyone, in this video I just want to quickly run through the new Hammerhead 2 unit. Not available in the store as yet, but will be shortly. Okay, this is a Hammerhead 2 unit, it's your complete um, IR battle unit for uh, Mako boards. Um, also you could use it to replace any uh, Tamiya battle unit as well, we'll talk about that very soon. Now when you do come to order your Hammerhead 2, the most important thing for you to, to tell me is uh, what type of connector on the end you need. Um, what type of connector depends on which board you have. We have here our standard Mako 2 board and that uses XH connectors and as you can see our Mako just plugs in using the uh, XH connectors there. Okay, so that's a, a Mako 2 standard with a Hammerhead 2 all set up, ready to go. Okie dokie. Now, if you, were actually, if you had instead bought a Mako PH board, and as you can see the Mako PH is a lot smaller than the Mako 2 XH because the connectors are a lot smaller. So if you're really stuck for space, um, grab a Mako PH board. Now if you, obviously if you get a Mako PH board you will need a Mako PH connector. So you get a hammerhead with a Mako PH connector. And as you can see of course it all very you know obviously stuff it slots in there okay and the other board we have on offer is the Mako 4 Tamiya board and of course being Tamiya it'll feature the Tamiya style connectors um, and that will be this hammerhead too with the Tamiya style connectors now these of course could plug in straight into your Tamiya MU unit so this is a direct replacement for your Tamiya battle unit Okay, you don't need to make a four at all. You can just plug this straight into your Tamiya uh, MU, and I won't bother plugging it in. But uh, as you, you know, that plug in there, and away we go. Okay, so important to let me know what type of connectors you need on your Hammerhead Two. The Hammerhead Two unit itself comes in two. Well, the unit itself is in two parts. Okay, you have a base unit and a top unit. It's important when you put them together that the IR LED is towards the IR LED side. So um, you'll notice, it might be a bit hard to see on the video, but this does say IR plus, IR minus. So this side is the IR side, so it will plug in like so, okay? Now, if you want uh, slightly cheaper shipping, um, I can ship you the Mako, uh, sorry, I can ship you the Hammerhead 2 in the base unit like that, and this unit without the IR LED mounted. So when they're like that, okay, they're thin enough to come as parcel, uh, sorry, as airmail letter post. If you want them sent as airmail letter post, you will need to, one, solder in an IR LED, which of course I'll send to you as well, and then you'll also have to solder in your uh, wiring harness. So you'll have to solder in all those leads into those holes there. Okay, if you want it shipped letter post in a flat pack. Okay, so what are some of the things that uh, good old Mako 2 does? Um, well, we'll just plug one in and show you. Okay, this is correct. Okay, we'll use our standard Mako board. We will just plug him in. The here we go. Now, I haven't got uh, too much set up here. It's just very. I mean, most of you probably are familiar with the workings of of the hammerhead and the Mako board. So we'll just power him up. And you'll see straight away it's flashed two times. Now it enters programming period. And da -da -da. Boop, 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 boop. okay. So um, not much to see without being fired at or anything. So I might just uh, see if I can get a fire shot at it. There we go. You can't really hear any sounds. It's not connected to anything. But um, you'll see there that we have um, these new surface mount IR receivers. There's four on the board. There's one in each of the quadrants. Okay. They've got built-in uh, sunlight uh, rejection or whatever it is um, so you don't need those rings 
uh, to to thing from sunlight. It's already got it all built in, and very tiny here, high intensity little surface mount LEDs. So this unit, as you can see, is very small. It can fit down in a cupola. They've got nothing sticking out. If your I've got a unit here to show you. If your club requires you to have your IR LED mounted somewhere separately or in a tube, um, what you can do is just simply get a bit of shrink tube. You know, your, um, and uh, this is one I've just slotted onto one of these IR LEDs. And it's black on black, but I'm pretty sure you can see there that that uh, IR LED is in a tube. So that's like cost zero. Um, just slot that on your IR LEDs in the tube or again as I said you know when you come to order these you can let me know how you want them sent and I can ship it of course without the IR LED at all mounted on there and then you can either put in a a plug like that and uh, wire your LED into your barrel or mantlet um, or, you know you can even have uh, a JST plug or something like that so you can remove uh, put your IR LED wherever you want um, so yes so that's uh, Hammerhead 2 um, as I said either available in the store if it's not in the store you can always email me and um, tell me how you want your Hammerhead 2 set up but uh, there we go thank you